Hello and welcome. Um, this is a tutorial based um, research channel um, and I'll be showing you my research results and uh, research in action. Now before you pass this uh, channel by as another crack pop space cadet um, channel um, if you're unsure of this sort of thing, just say to yourself um, the opinion you have about this sort of thing is based on what? Um, stuff you've been taught, read, um, stuff you've watched, um, which, which we all have. Um, so if you're interested in this enough um, and you're intelligent enough, um, should you not really investigate this, um, investigate the subject, uh, research it for yourself, you know, just to find out. Um, so uh, basically um, this channel can show you um, how to do that. Um, and it's important um, that you have to train your brain to see past um, what it's um, being conditioned to see or expect or, or, or know. So give it a chance um, and then hopefully you'll, you'll start seeing and um, believing things in a, in a different way. So, okay. Let's get on with it. So today we are going to be looking at uh, low, which is, as far as I can remember, I've done so many now, um, it's a Jupiter moon. So if we take a look at, uh, let's see, I've got some info for you. Is it this one? Yes, it's this one. Okay. So reasonably reasonable sized uh, image um, there's a lot of stuff got a lot to get through on this so um, just pause and have a read of uh, things and the images as we go along okay so straight away um, just putting some background on hope it's not too loud um, just want to point out a few things um, it's not an excellent uh, image. This hasn't been enlarged or anything yet. But there's just a few features I'd like to point out. Okay. Whoop. That's huge. Um, this here. This here. It all makes sense. Now, this is a, a mosaic image, as you can see, they put it together rather badly here. Um, and there are these big squares, which don't make any sense to me, but it will when I've showed you some, um, some more of the the moon itself. Um, so remember this area, remember this, this area here, it's called um, Palin or Palin, or something. Anyway, we'll find out in a bit. So okay, that's that's low. So we're gonna have a look at the one I've been working on. As you can see, it's very different. It goes through a contrast and I use the burn tools and stuff which I've explained in some tutorials and the other videos I try and explain what I'm doing as I go along so let's have a closer look at this this has been enlarged uh, you can see the quality diminishing already here um, so I'll just point out some bits and bobs. It's starting to lag already. 
It's alright, I've had major problems with my uh, computer, so we'll take it easy. So this area here, don't know what it is, but it doesn't look uh, correct to me. We'll have a closer look at this area here. Now you might notice all this uh, grid work. Now I think this is across the entire image. You can sort of see the lines and stuff. It just interests me what they do to these images because there's no way they should be coming out like this. So let's have a look at that area I pointed out here and here. And it's the whole area actually, but this is you know low quality so you have to uh, we have to work with what we've got what we can get our hands on so very unusual looking um, and obviously this you're also going to be looking at some very very low quality images just just because uh, I like to show you more than one image um, and try and make some comparisons between the two uh, or three or four or six or whatever I've I've got here okay so I will be panning in and out um, You can see some things are easier to see at different, um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, distances of sorts, <laughs> sorry. I think I've drunk too much coffee today. Okay. Uh, there's quite a lot going on in this area. Um, but you can see from that grid work and stuff, it sort of uh, gets broken up a little bit. But um, this is something you're just going to have to pause and, and have a good uh, have a good look at it. I'm just trying to point out some some areas. I've got a better map with uh, stuff, so you can flip through the video back and forth and just try and relate stuff to it. When I do that with the circle, I'm just trying to point something out. This I found was quite unusual because that was black. There's a lot hidden in the darkness. That almost looks like uh, something solid, but transparent of sorts. Gets very messy. Uh, what am I on? I was reading something and I think that the yellow colours are more real. But with the tools I use and stuff, it tends to pull the colours. Makes it a bit funky like this. So I working in black and white can be quite good sometimes. But I'm using the colour because it's more, more entertaining. And we have been getting some good results as well. So this area here, this is uh, the the, 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 the Pellin area. Let me just see if it mentions uh, that. No, it doesn't. Okay. Um, so I'm just going to point out this area here and all this. And this here. 
and this uh, there's stuff hidden here I haven't done a huge amount of work on these on these maps um, because it, I'd, I'd never get the video out there so as you can see you know, take this of uh, they've cut that area out for a reason there's no reason for them to be hiding those areas and see this is completely different to the original map um, which has been done in pre-editing to releasing the image um, it's very obvious if you know anything about um, graphics um, it screams uh, I've been mucked around with so it, there we have this, a small introduction to, so we can see that there's some weirdness going on. Um, now, oh yeah, by the way, I like these. It's, uh, Voyager and Galileo are a load of these, but it, it will state it in the, uh, the information what's what. This is Voyager, Voyager 1, maybe that's the wrong. Um, logo but I'm not sure so let's have a look at this one this is Galileo um, small image um, there's some stuff in here about the colors um, Pilan Pantera which there seems to be and I'll show you that area Whoa, I wasn't expecting that. The Pilan Pantera area is here, I think. Um, so, very poor image. Um, let's have a look at the top. You get you get used to what the, the images can and can't do from blowing them up, what's, what's this at, it's 1.8, it's nearly 2 gigabyte, there are stuff, I mean I could work on this, but um, I was just searching through images to find, obviously find the best one I could, so these are, this is, these are the areas we'll be concentrating on, well there's lots of, lots of areas actually, but this was quite hidden, and looked quite funky to me and if we go back to um, we check this area out so I just try and relate them to different maps and obviously there things end up in different sort of different places so it's um, can be quite can be quite difficult so if we look back to there I'm presuming we've got this that and here so these areas are that's where that cut out would be and I think it's actually cutting this out you look at that area there and we look at this you see that this area that might be the big thing at the back so it would be in a slightly very different place but you can see these features if I go back could quite possibly be part of this 
that's up to you guys but this is very anomalistically strange looking um, okay so I might be jumping around a bit these today but um, it's sort of worth it and the reason I'm going to show you these very low quality ones is um, just to show you what what you can get out of low quality images and there's some really odd stuff going on which I can't work out okie doke so we've done that, done that one that one um, let's have a look at okay this one see that's 17 megabyte that's pretty good um, more information um, and be honest I don't really read them I spend most of the time working on the images so uh, this is Galileo uh, right so it's slowing down a bit I've done a fair amount on this um, and if I'm right they do talk about the surface changing a lot so I think this might be it might not be. Let's have a closer look. This could be the. This is the Palin area. I'm not entirely sure. Like I say, it can get very confusing. But this has been enlarged and I've done some work on it. And we'll do a bit more work on here as well. Helps you decipher what I'm uh, finding, describing. I mean, this stuff is quite difficult to uh, describe anyway. What we're looking at, at as we look on a, a lot of the images are they look like uh, they have um, architectural structure and our layouts of like towns or cities or um, stuff like that. And this stuff is very unusual. And with the process that I use, <coughs> It, um, because what they do to the image is they make them look very flat. Um, <clears throat> and there's a lot of, uh, excuse me, <coughs> a lot of contrast between um, colours and stuff. So that's all you're looking at. You're just looking at different tones and colours and stuff. Um, um, especially on these type of uh, pictures. And I'm not sure how old these pictures are when they were taken uh, it's been in orbit since 95 uh, 99 these images were uh, taken in so I'll do a bit of panning in and out Let's see this here Like these are things, I mean, they're, they're just patches which I've worked on where I've seen something. So, um, where it's lighter and darker, obviously, I need to work it inside the gas. But this is it, but this is a difficult image to work on. Um, the, the colors bleach out um, very quickly. So, there's a lot of mucking around with. Um, tool settings it's only the exposure settings so it's nothing major Let's see if we can pull any more out of this 
this is why you enlarge the images so you can get in I can get further into them um, pull out smaller details and when you pan back out you know it condenses visually and uh, it makes more sense to you sorry for repeating myself people who uh, are following the channel but it's got to be done at the moment there's a lot of people looking at the videos well, not, not a lot but um, but not a lot of comments and not a lot of subscribing and uh, I'm not interested in money or anything like that we just need the subscribers to get the get the message out there so if we pan back on that let's just chuck a bit of um, I don't have to be very precise when I'm doing this. Not at this stage anyway. Ooh, what am I doing? The reason I show you the research as well is um helps you concentrate on what I'm concentrating on. So your brain can make more sense of what is appearing. Like I was saying at the beginning, I thought I'd say something like that because I'm sure the people that click on it and then just go, oh no, that's just mumbo jumbo. But, um, until you've had a look yourself you know from me you can only take my word um, the reason I'm doing this is because I was watching a site and the guy said you know were you even though he'd showed us the the images and stuff he said well you can't take my word for it go and check it out yourself so I used Photoshop at the time um, so I went and ch ch checked it out for myself and I was completely amazed and I looked everywhere at all sorts of different types of photographs um, just to confirm I wasn't going mental in uh, what I was seeing and stuff um, and there you have it that was a few years ago now so there you go there's some unusual stuff going on there um, and the same in this area do work a lot slower this um, slower than this when I, I'm preparing the images because you can miss stuff bleach stuff out darken things too much stuff like this as well
like we see on a lot of stuff, um, lots of tubes, tunnels or You know, they, have to, they look like they have definite purpose, you know, or obviously direction. It's a lot of, because um, the tool that I'm using, um, Dodge Highlights, um, makes the lighter pixels lighter. Um, on an image like this, you've got to start as dark as you can, really, um, without losing any any of the dark features. And then you'll, you, you, it, the process will make it light, then you have to make it darker again, and lighter again, and so on and so forth, just to squish those pixels, to pull the information out. All this so I'll show you how the color goes funky I'm gonna go to shadows so when you go over this the, the colors become a lot richer but it's it's working on the the darker pixels I tend to use this at the end areas like this you can you can get information out of I can full screen. I'm just going to go back. I don't trust it. It stops recording on me <coughs> quite a lot, but I think it's just me being uh, pressing the wrong buttons. Now, if you are still with me and you haven't um, seen this sort of thing before, <clears throat> and your tongue is in your cheek, um, what I think is a very good place to start is a channel called Lunatech, and he features um, Apollo mission footage of the moon and if you go and check that stuff out um, if that isn't a good starting point and you can't see anything then um, then uh, I would be very surprised um, the lunar so you can see the lunar surface going past and uh, it is so blatant and this is stuff they televised as well or a lot of it was uh, televised and it's blatant and you can sort of hear the the, the astronauts hesitating about what they're actually seeing um, it's incredible, it's incredible. Also Ron T channel. Insane stuff.
and you can see this moving over here. Like so, there you know, if this isn't good enough for you, check out the other videos I've done as well. Um, an important thing to take into account is the how familiar certain shapes and stuff are becoming um, on all the different planets and moons. So you can see the features starting to appear. It's just a case of slowly bringing them out. I don't want to miss anything, you see. But when I was first starting out, <clears throat> I did uh, check it out. It's, uh, it's Ganymede, and it is absolutely astounding. But I must have spent oh, up, up to date at least 60 hours working on it um, the the method I use now is a lot quicker so um, but yeah yeah it's crazy so right there's something here as well There's stuff everywhere. But it's not until when you until you start working on this if you don't see the uh, the depth and the shadows and the the, 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 the three dimensions of, of the anomalies appearing. Um, there is there is um, some vague descriptions of the the environment on this place, um, and they talk a lot about the <clears throat> volcanic activity and stuff. Um, I don't know enough. Right, where are we? You're very likely to be seeing anything in this, but there are things which give give it away. You know, and people say, "Well, that you know, that's that's not good enough. That's." Um, that's just a bad image, that's that's pixel anomalies, compression, however you'd like to call it, um, but it, it, that shouldn't be the case. Why, why are we looking at pants images? And is that the excuse we're going to give? This was completely black.
Now, <clears throat> this is something which you'll which you'll see uh, on some of the other images uh, coming up, and this is something we saw on Titan as well. Um, And they are they're they're they're, um, they're bleached out or, or blurred out or completely blocked out, especially on uh, Titan. But it looks like there's a uh, from one point going to another point. And if you can see here, it looks to be towers or spires or whatever you would like to call them I pan out a bit you might be able to see that better see there's one running through here as well I've done nothing to that Find out where I am because I'm, I'm going to. I don't know. Uh... Okay, so we've looked there. Sorry about the jigginess of the, the image. Uh, it's one uh, I have to put up with it. Well, I can sort of do it, but I have to change. I have to change uh, tools and then I tend to muck it up anyway. So. I just point some stuff out then I would pause the the image and then take it from there getting closer That would be something sticking up. This is the back side, and that is the shadow. I've no, I haven't noticed that before. This great big blurred out section. see how the tool is reacting differently I haven't noticed that before but you can
can get information out of this. It takes a while, you just gotta know what um to look for and like I said before as well in a lot of cases uh, even if you can't see anything which I think I might demonstrate when I show you I'm um, going to do a little tutorial on using the the dodge and uh, burn tools of an area of Mars which um, is so dark so blacked out um, and I've just gone in random patches and stuff and uh, the, there are constructions everywhere so a lot of this research is uh, not that you can see something sort of poking through the image is uh, there's absolutely you can't see anything Which is the the extent of the editing is insane, and these maps look phenomenal. You'd look you look at them before you touch them, and you just think how cool they are. But they're completely edited. It's insane. Okay, so I think this is the final area we're going to look at on this. It's like I've said before as well, I mean a lot of these these maps are there's so much going on. You can you can just get lost in the complexity of it.
structured. It looks built. Another way of saying it. They can only imagine that it's everywhere. You can see. I've got to find out how big this place is as well. 14, no, I think that's Titan. It may be around about the same sort of size as Titan, but I don't know. Let me, uh, let me know. We might be able to find it on some of the information. Okay. More blurred out area here. No one's going to explain this to you. doesn't exist. Check out the, the, the other uh, the other videos I've done. There is no way this stuff can be present if it's not present in every single photograph I'm looking at. enough to ask questions so the researchers that do the research are obviously not I and mean, if I was a researcher straight away I'd be going wait do you, are you are you taking the mick you expect me to do research with images of this quality yeah so there you have it okay I was doing it, I was just getting carried away with doing it. Let's have a look at we'll do this one quickly, which is this one here. Here's some information. 
292 kilobyte very high resolution view of low surface yes it was once but not for us so i've done some contrast and burn work on on here and um Let's have a look. Now, for those of you who are not familiar with this type of sort of, the, the, these are the images where you really have to uh, um, work hard to try and uh, decipher. So I think what I'll do, I'll just give you a few different sizes of zoom in and zoom out. I'll show you when you get to a certain point. It's like Minecraft. Very, very low quality. Um, but it's got a nice, uh, a nice viewing angle on it. Um, you can see the, take these of being the tops. This is the sides. So it's quite a good uh, angle in that respect. So this is an extremely low quality, poor image. Now these lines I was talking about, can you see this? This has been, see the sides have been blurred out. There's no reason for an image to have blurred bits and different um, sort of pixel structures and sizes uh, unless it's been mucked around with. So you can see. There's one that runs through here as well. This area, this marked area which they feature. The state of that. I'm not sure what they're trying to point out here. Um, you can read it. I don't think it's a very big, big moon.
Don't worry, sorry about that. Done very little to this. Have a look there. Where was I saying? This is why you enlarge the images, so uh, any point you want to. Not on these, I'm just demonstrating the basically you can uh, pretty much pull anything out of any quality image which look Manufactured, constructed. So it's just crazy. Said I wasn't going to spend very long in here. Just want to see if there's anything under here. OK, 
Wirklichkeit. That's a nice. Where are we? Um, look at this. Just lighten this. That's a shadow there. But look at this. The top, the sides. More of these tower things as well. And that looks to me as though there's something sticking up. Maybe not. Why? Sorry about that. So it's so easy to get carried away with these things. See, that's not what I expected. See all this? It's all rubbish. No. It's different to the original image. Okay. Okay. Right. Oh God, there's so much to get through. Right. Um, what to do next? Let's. Okay, we'll go. We'll go with this one, which is not that one. Not that one. Oh, I haven't got the info, the info for, the, for this one. PIA 02556, if you want to have a look at it. Um, I did a bit of an experiment with this. I used um, Hue and Chroma setting. So these lighter green areas that you see are what I've worked on after I um, had a play with the image. I won't do too much on this, I'll just let you uh, have a look. You're going to have to tilt your head or if I, uh, it doesn't have like a compass uh, setting uh, as Photoshop does. So if I go here Now let me do it. Not responding. Maybe it will do something in a minute. Okay. So you really want to be looking at it.
sort of like that similar to the last one we looked at um, so very low quality as well like the last one we looked at um, just points and areas it's the whole area this thing is so it's so difficult to decipher um, you can squint a little but these are all you know it's the the infrastructure where where um, areas run to different areas now can I I don't think I can do any uh, any work on this void. So what I'll do I'll have a, a quick look around and then we have a closer look. See so these bitty areas they don't make a lot of sense until you get very close to them which is strange like this as well Just take your time with these images, they're very revealing once you get used to uh, looking at these images. Oh, it's a bit jiggery. Don't know what the red is, it's the tools pulling, doing their odd thing with colours. can see how things are, go over stuff and under things all joined yeah I can't do any work on this in this setting bit of a bummer and it just does chop the top of the image off kilometer point sixth of a mile oh he says it <laughs> okay so back up it's the way the the angle they present it at. So we're looking a bit closer. Guys, you're gonna to have to pause this and have a look at it yourself. This is gonna go on for hours if not. So we're looking at it on a slight, I think that would be the, the straight, so I explained a minute ago anyway. But as you can see, it's, uh, well, it's very unfinished, but there's lots of stuff. That's reminiscent of the moon with the craters which obviously are not they're elevated you see that There's all sorts of stuff in here
So who lives on low? Okay, getting the idea. Very familiar. You see how it's just hidden. built. Clearly constructed. Okay, right. Right, I'm going to go for it. Okay, this one, uh, information. Okay, 
This was a very low quality image. This is something I haven't been able to find. Now what they do say that they had problems with radiation coming from um, and this was taken um, 1200 miles from the surface um, large doses of radiation which the base, uh, spacecraft was sub subjected to each time it passes no, 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 which resulted in scrambling of these images engineers at NASA do, 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 reconstruct the images but the black stripes remain where some data could not be recovered straight into what I I've enlarged the image I've had a play with it um, these are the black stripes which is uh, from data corruption and then black stripes remain what are I don't know black stripes they look like strips of film but To me, they have three dimensions, they have shadows, they look connected to the surrounding um, land, geology. Um, and it looks very weird to me. You can work this one out for yourself. Um, but this is what the uh, the photograph gave me. We're not going to spend too long on here. He says, to me it looks like, could be, it looks like a trench with something coming out of it. Something in it. I hope you can see what I mean. It's connected. It's radiation data corruption or is it something? It looks like a trench to me. Part of it, look. I'm going to get into trouble for this one. This is obviously some of the surrounding stuff. Again, I haven't done a lot, a lot amount, a huge amount of uh, work on this.
Look at this stuff. It's one of these lines again. <clears throat> Which initially, in the original image, they look like uh, join lines, you know, where they stitch the images together. This image is distorted as well, I'm sure it's been stretched slightly. Has that look as though, you know, if something's traveling very fast over the top and you take a photograph, you get a slight motion blur in it. can't help not doing stuff to this. To me this just screams um, built. You would have to question this. And this is a terrible quality image. I was quite shocked when I was working on this one. Okay. Let's have a look at this. Black line again. It's something coming out. And it's connected. That's what it looks like to me. See, that's what that's what can happen with these tools. You see, because it's. Um, too much exposure there. So I'm going to turn that down. When it does that in these sort of areas as well, when you finish your pass, finish in a dark area. Part of so read the description for this one again and then have a look and uh, see what you think. Give the people with the uh, magnifiers a bit of a bit of a look. Here's a line. Very weird. They 
have one kilometer. So what's that, a third of a kilometer, fourth of a kilometer wide? Perfect. Tell me what you think that is. Still very small, I could enlarge that probably three more times. And you really have to search in these images, but there is hidden a lot of detail. What is going on? So this is this um, Pilian, Pilian area. Um, and I can't find anything like this on the other maps. Very well disguised. Or, or I just need to work on the images a lot, lot more. Um, so just look at that. And that, and I think that it is. Uh, which map was I looking at? It's that area, I think it was this. This is a barrel or syndrical map, they call them. And the tops and bottoms are always uh, distorted. It's uh, this area, I think. Not quite sure. But I did leave this down so we could do some more research on it from the uh, from this I was talking about. I'll just give you the details of this. 125 megabytes still comes in rubbish you have to you have to try it to understand what i mean cylindrical map there you go um if those anomalies i was talking about we'll just have a quick look there's uh some stuff here here's that circular looking thing with the Power sticking out, and here's that area here. But I'm not going to ponder on this because I have just. Well, let's. Uh, that funny, massive, great big dome we saw at the beginning is. completely blurred out. But I think it's round, round, it's hit round here somewhere. There was a big opening near it, which is uh, this one we was talking about. That one there. There. Could well be here. Not entirely sure. But there's all sorts of stuff going on. Okay, right, and this one as well. Um, 14 megabyte, not half bad. Um, in relation to that to the pixel sizes 
Um, so let's get into it. Contrast and burn, lots of. Um, this is the area, so it would be around here somewhere. Oh dear. Computer's just getting a bit confused. Okay. I'm just going to let you look at this one. I think we might have to get in quite close. Hope I'm not uh, speaking too quietly. Fine if you do, I mean, when I was looking at that, I was like, oh god, I can't see it. Oh yes, I can. If I do a bit of this, and it helps you sort of click in to the images. Lots of three dimension in here. And then, whoa. It's everywhere. Very aliens, no way to say it. Check it out. Look at this. Please explain. You're not going to get an explanation, are we? it now. This image did take a lot of work to pull it out. So just apply what you've seen there to these areas and they they are the same. It's that there. jumped out at me. Oh yeah.
crazy. So that Jupiter has what? Is it around about 70 moons or something? 70. What does that say? So just remember, there's no point arguing with anyone if they haven't done any research themselves. Just don't even bother. So yet again, you can see that there is stuff everywhere. I'll probably try to do too much on this one, but all across here as well. See the bigger brush? It's not. It's not exact. Exact enough. This area needs lots and lots of work. Slowly getting stuff through. This is probably the stage now where you're actually going to start seeing stuff. Well, I, I can see it already. haven't really touched this part of the uh, map just these areas it's just everywhere Insane. Your magnifiers. Yeah, it's amazing. It's all about retraining 
your brain. Insane. There we go. Before my eyes pop. Um, thanks for watching. I hope this helped. Um, it boggles me. Just boggles me. Um, so there we have it. Jupiter's moon low. Um, we'll be doing some more. Some more stuff very soon. Um, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And... I'll see you all very soon. Are you get any you need any help with this? Um, just leave it in the comments. Um, and uh, don't be afraid of it. Okay. See you all soon.